I work on the T2T Boxing in association with IFL TV and Macklin's Jim Marbella. Here with me I have Luke Jackson on the phone, up fresh off his Aussie title featherweight victory at the weekend over Iron Will Young. Thanks for joining us, Luke. No problem, mate. Thanks for having me, Bella. No worries at all. Um, you know, great, great, um, great win at the weekend. I know you'd been working very hard towards, uh, you know, training and, and coming towards that first first title, that Aussie title. How um, how do you feel that the fight went? I know it ended in a, in a split decision. Um, look, the fight, the fight went, you know, according to plan. I um, put him down very hard in the second round. I, I don't know how he got up, um, to be honest with you, but. You know, it just shows how tough, how tough Will Young is. Um, but look, I think I feel I won nine out of the ten rounds. Um, he won the ninth round, but look, I don't know how they scored a, a split decision. Um, but look, that's out of my control. I can't, I can't um, worry about the judges. But yeah, I'm just happy that I got the win, and then uh, on to the next one now. Yeah, so in, you know, I suppose whenever you're challenging for a title, it's you you're always subject to I suppose not getting the uh, the fifty fifties maybe going your way, but that's obviously something that you've got in your uh, in your back pocket now. Um, so I know that when we spoke a couple of weeks ago, you were you know keen on looking past this fight and and building up to you know building momentum for two thousand and fifteen with now that you've got that Aussie title in hand. What um what are the plans now that you've got that? What's what's next in line for for Luke Jackson? I, I'm just waiting to hear back from my team, um, Mike Altamore and Adam Adam Wilcox. Um, hopefully we can put a, a big show on down in Tasmania. Um, I know I could pack out um, a stadium down here, mate. I've got a lot of a lot of uh, great supporters down here, so they they're keen for me to 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 put a show on down here. And, and I just want to defend my title against whoever wants to challenge me. Um, look, I'll fight whoever my team tells me. I don't choose that. Um, they tell me who to fight, and they tell me a date. All I do is, is work hard with Billy Hussain and, um, and then get ready to fight. And so, in, and so men, mentioned Billy Hussain there. I know that so you've been um, training with, with him, and obviously a lot of great fighters in that gym that we all know. Obviously, Billy and, and Bilal did being two of the the better known guys there. Who um who, who have you seen in that gym that maybe we haven't seen much of that um, say like ourselves and, and the fans should be keeping an eye out for? Jim, um, there's guys that, that don't get much of a mention, like uh, Dylan Emery, Tony Senior. Um, you know, they, they 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 go behind the background. Uh, Yusuf Div, he's still an amateur boxer, um, but you know he's he's chasing chasing Rio Olympics. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of good young fighters coming out of that gym that that don't get um, you know much limelight that that soon will be be um, you know on, on the on the boxing scene in Australia. Yeah, it seems to be that there's a real layer of fighters that are just just about to sort of break through and um, and make their name certainly. And I know that say Body Punch Gym has certainly got some great fighters coming up through that we keep hearing about. So long may that continue. Um, in, in the featherweight division in, in general, and I know that say your your team will make those decisions, but obviously you know you'll you'll keep up with what's going on around the division. Um, you know throughout Asia, it's the competition's pretty strong. In Australia, we've got. Joel Brunker, probably the highest ranked featherweight here, and I think he's 12th with the IBF. Um, so are fights like that things that you're looking for in order to bring yourself up in the rankings? Is that is that the goal for you right now? Yeah, look, I, I, uh, I respect Joel Brunker. He's a, he's a good fighter. We've got actually the same promoter. So he looked, you know, that, uh, that, that's the fight that I'd, I'd, you know, be looking at. I'd, I'd love to fight Joel. You know, I fought Joel four times as an amateur. Um, you know, I was lucky... Lucky enough to beat him four times, so um, you know I'd like to be able to beat him again as a professional. Um, you know I respect what he's done, and and uh, look, he's chased some world titles. So look, I don't know if he if he sees anything gaining in fighting me. So, um, but look, I'd, I'd love to be able to fight Joe. That'd be a great fight. Yeah, so you'd say those big domestic showdowns are always ones that get the uh, that the fans go in. Um, and what um, looking forward in, in your career and say in the next few fights and even into next year, do you um, do you see yourself staying at featherweight for, for quite a while or have you how how do you how do you get on with the weight? Do you struggle to make weight at the moment? You see, you're always looking great shape whenever I've seen you. Mate, featherweight is definitely my weight. Um, you know that, that that's what I'll stay at for a um, you know if the money was right, I, I could even make super band, but. Um, 
you know, at the moment I'm comfortable making featherweight and and that's where I'll stay. Who who do you see as the, the sort of top boys in in the division at the moment, and the ones you know that are really sort of setting setting the bar for for the featherweights in in the world? Yeah. Um. Obviously, you've got guys like Vasil Lomachenko, Johnny Gonzalez. Um. You've got Gravich. Um. You've got Lee Selby that's fighting Gravich, which I think Lee Selby mm. will beat Gravich. Um. You know, there's, there's a lot of good featherweights out there. Abner Mares, um, you know, Nicholas Walters, I think mm. Walters does an amateur, so look. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, so. Okay. Because, you know, yes, he's been um, chopping people down for fun in the last, uh, last year or he's so. Been, <laughs> he's been knocking people out, mate. So, yeah. um, look, you know, it's a good win to have him more resume as an amateur, but look, um, the pro game's different, mate, and, uh, and I've learned that myself. Look, I'm still learning as a professional, and and um, you know, I'll continue to keep learning under Billy Stones. So. Absolutely. And so Lomachenko has just been added to that Mayweather Pacquiao card. That would be um, you know, one one to watch. And is that um, I take it out know, those big fights in America, and are obviously the the end goal for for yourself. And if you had, so if you could choose one one place to, to have a big fight at, where where would be your sort of one your choice? Would you like to fight in Vegas or the Garden? <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to fight him in in, uh, in in Las Vegas. That'd be amazing, mate. Or or uh, Madison Square Garden. Or look, you know, I'm not I'm not really phased, but I'll um, I'll fight into Wimbledon if I have to. <laughs> All right, perfect. Well, look, mate. Like I say, well done on the um, on the win at the weekend. We'll obviously, um, you know, keep an eye out on your progress and, and keep in touch. And obviously, as soon as anything's announced, we'll uh, we'll let everyone know. And uh, Thanks everyone at home for listening. This is Tom Watt for T2T Boxing. Follow us on Twitter at T2T Boxing or youtube.com forward slash T2T Boxing for the latest boxing news and reviews from around the world.